Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Python Kokla. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger fighting about the new corner, 28 years of age. He is now at 170 cm tall and weighing in at 17 pounds. She will record of 21 wins and four losses. She is six times the BWKO gold medalist and four times IFMA gold medalist and three times the BWMC Muay Thai champion. Representing Slovakia, the children the volcano, Monica. Of the Red Connor, 22 years of age. She's down with the 69 and Nimbus Hall and with the 17.6 pounds. She will record of 45 wins and six losses. She is IPCC Muay Thai and Muay Thai Junior Cup gold medalist and two divisions RWS World Champion and the current Russian the Stadium female Vietnam World Champion representing Chiang Mai Province, Thailand. The Chiang so I'm that's a big Smile on the face of Son Ratsami, a more focused look by Monica. All right, now is the time. Round one of the scheduled five rounds. Two minutes, go around. History in the making with this fight. From Russell and Southpaw. Big red kick coming from Monica. For Monica, not only will she make history if she wins, of course, to become the first, sorry, the second ever female fighter to have the Rajnaman Stadium belt. She will be, of course, the first non Thai, mm. and I believe the first Slovakian ever to win a Rajnaman Stadium belt as well. Yeah, absolutely. But of course, a tough ask Ooh, good right. for tonight. There. And so Ratsami is looking aggressive, unusual for her in round number one. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, coming in with a game plan of getting close. Trying to get the advantage oh. in the clinching position, and she gets it. She does land Good on take top. The score big that for Sam Ratsini is looking good in the opening stages here. Yeah, and we've seen Monica in the past. Uh, her outside game is scary, scary, but the inside game is probably going to be the advantage in Sam Ratsini's side. This is why she's trying to get close right now. So we've seen Monica two times before here on RWS. Of course, both times winning those fights. Both times, I believe she was cutting. He cut her opponent, Paraket. Mm. And uh, Danielle Simmons from the US of A. So far, some has been very disciplined. Monica trying to defend the clinch. And some has been still. Just so just, though. Yeah. Very close. Yeah, Monica, she defeated Naupra Jano, of course. So Ratsami defeated twice. We go to Rajdamun event here in December. End of round number one. Good round from both fighters. So Ratsami a little bit more aggressive, uh, scoring in the clinch. We saw a few punches landing coming from Monica. It would be interesting to see how the judges are going to score this one. I would suspect that Tom Ratsmi would take this one. She's forward with the left kick and grabs a hold of you. Lands that knee, of course, trying to get the upper position in the clinch. On the other hand, Monica in the outside with the fast combinations. Let's see, second round. Here we go. 
Monica looking for a the Superman punch there, but walked straight into the clinch. So Maximi looking good. Monica still work, working hard in the clinch as well. Coming from the Thai fighter. So Monica looking a little bit tense. Now she's gonna try and find a way to loosen up just a little bit. Good right hand there by Monica. Yeah, I like what she's doing. Right kick, right hand. Ooh, oh, oh, but the big knee coming from Somraxami. Very good knee there by Somraxami. Monica is very active in the clinch and she has to. She needs to be throwing those knees constantly. Ooh. Monica looking for that right kick. Not able to find Somraxami. Somraxami looking for the left and two. Can't find Monica. Ooh. In the cat and mouse right now. Mm, he is indeed. Ends up in the clinch and Monica. Very active. He is. At least if you're going to be in the clinch. Make it difficult for your opponent and I feel like that's what Monica is doing right now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So Masami having a better position in the clinch but not oh, working as hard but hand. good hands. Big left hand there by So Masami. And of course, we'll have to look at the aggression of the Spiders. Oh, oh combo there by Monica. Good hand placement, though, by Saul Matini once again, tying Monica up. But that was a big elbow by the Slovakian. And you can feel how strong Monica is in the clean chin, though she does not has, have the advantage in her position. Oh, a bang for this. Left kick there. Once again, Monica. Good defense! Oh. And of the round. What a difficult round to judge once again. Really difficult. It is. We had so much of very aggressive again, landing with a few punches and those knees having a better posture in the clinch. But Monica. For both fighters. But Monica, mm. she needs to win a round. Yeah, absolutely. Running out of time. Here we go, third round. All right, here we go. Monica, what will be the game plan? She needs to make it a little bit dirty, perhaps oh. stay wild. Good right hand, getting in the clinch uh, with a defensive position coming from the slow hand. Yeah, and once again, blocking that knee. All those knee attempts. I like what she was doing with the right kick, right hand. Oh, whew, good flurry of punches and elbows there by Sam Ratsami. Here comes the volcano. Yeah, and I don't think getting in the clinch is the right decision for Monica. She wants to stay on the outside. So Ratsami, of course, like I said, with a little bit of an awkward style, whether she pushes forward. She just, she's so difficult to, to hit. She is. She indeed. uses those long arms mm. as defensive weapons as well. So when you do try for a punch or an elbow, it gets deflected. Yeah, absolutely. She's got a little bit of a Pat Malcott style yes. as a woman. That's so awesome. Great comparison. Good kick there by Monica off the back foot. Yeah, better rotation from Monica, but some Rasami. Very active right now in the big knee again. 50 seconds remaining on the clock for Monica to turn it around. Yeah, left kick, left hand by Monica. Crowd really trying to get behind Monica right now. She needs the help. Oh, good left hand by Sam Ratsami. That stiff jab getting into the clinch. Somrasami still has the better posture out of the two into the clinch. She will have the advantage on the scorecard with that, that's for sure. Now the ref asking her to fight as well. Not really sure why though. She's been the one pushing forward as well. Oh, with a back fist again. The end of the round. Monica confident, but will it be enough to win the round? Yeah, I'm not so sure. I feel like it was potentially another frustrating round for Monica. She's had a moment. I feel like perhaps the better strikes were coming by way of some Ratsami. But like I said, the ultimate goal, of course, would be to be Rajdamur Stadium champion. She has two rounds to try and change things. 
in her favor. Let's see if she can do it. Round number four. All right, here we go. The fans are still cheering for the volcano. Monica, she will need a knockdown now, I believe, if she wants to win the fight. Of course, so Hassan, always very disciplined, pushing forward. Don't change a winning team, they say, and she's still going with the yeah. same game plan. Oh! oh. Right hand there for Monica. Yeah, much better round. Volcano looking to explode here in round number four. Boy, does she need to. So that's, oh, tempted elbow there by Monica. Looking to drive some knees into the body. She's won herself by some rap to me. Monica needs to stay active. She can't be waiting for some wrestling. The push all over the back fist again. Nothing like, oh, nothing that she hasn't oh, seen yet. Some wrestling in good hands. Yeah. You don't always see that by some rap to me, but she does possess good boxing. As indeed, she will be pushing forward, making it difficult for Monica to find her rhythm to be able to establish her power. Monica needs to be more active right now. The yes, clock. She's very apprehensive. Yes, yeah, she is. Isn't she? Left elbow. She is indeed, but again, that's the style of some person yeah. pushing forward, making it hard, make you, making you think before you throw. Before you know it, the time is over. Still pushing forward, some person here. Back in the clinch. Monica. Another tough one to call, isn't it? <laughs> I do feel like Monica's having a, maybe a best round, though, I'm being honest right now. Yeah, I was about to get in between calling for action. Back in the clinch once again. Monica trying to defend as best as she can. And the end of the round four. One more to go. Could be a big round here for Monica, of course. If she doesn't win this round, she needs a knockout in round number five. It's, over. it's all or nothing now for the challenger in the fifth. And final round. <laughs> Another spinny back fist attempted there. Almost catching, so I'm to me off guard. Just two minutes to go. Oh, good knee and elbow combination there by Sam Ratsumi. Attempted right hand. Ooh, almost a clash of heads that time. Left elbow by Saul Ratsumi. Pushing forward. Is the champ. Good body strike left hand by Saul Ratsumi. Back into the clinch. Something that favours Saul Ratsumi, we'd have to say. Back. Here we go. Under 90 seconds left on the clock, and Son Rasmi throws and connects with another left hand to the head of Monica. Oh, another left kick to the body and left hand combination. By Son Rasmi, he's looking good right now for the champion from Thailand. Left kick there by Son Rasmi, and again. Right kick to the body by Monica. Oh, good knee there from Sam Rasmi, and again. Doesn't look like it's going to be Monica at Chocolate Cobra's night here on RWS. Right hand there by Monica. Yeah, left kick to the body by Monica. Five seconds left on the clock. She delivers another good right hand. And an elbow to end the fight. Here tonight on RWS. A disappointed Monica Chocolate Cobra heads back to her corner. 
Sam Ratsamy feels like she's done enough, and enough she has done. Monica gave everything in that fight. But Sam Ratsamy just found that pathway to victory. We'll, of course, get an interview with the champion at the end of this one. But let's first have a look at the highlights. See a right kick there from Monica. Left elbow. Attempting that spinning back fist on a number of occasions. Never really found a home for it, unfortunately, for Monica Chocolate over. Good one-two combination coming in by Sam Ratsby. Nice little left elbow there by Monica. It wouldn't surprise me to see these two fight again at some point in the future. But as for now, Sam Ratsby coming out on top in this one. All right, let's get the official decision of our MC in the ring, Mr. Beer. Then we'll get the interview and then we'll tell you what's coming up here on RWS in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the managing director of Russia Dunner Stadium, Mr. Chit Chiel Sekun. And introducing the president of RWS and the board director of Russia Dunner Stadium, Mr. Bank Tianchai Pisit Putinan. And now, ladies and gentlemen of the Five Rounds of Boy Thai Action, we go to the judge's scorecard. The first judge scored is about 50 to 45. The second judge scored 48 to 47. And the last judge scored 49 to 46. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision. 